So my local Nike town just restocked this shoe and I finally got the Heritage Air Jordan 1 in my collection. So in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down all the differences between the black toes, the fragments, and the bread toes. Because I personally think a lot of people are sleeping on these Heritage Ones. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys all the history and facts, and helping you turn your hobby into a hustle. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what this shoe is talking about. Starting off with the lid right here, we have your classic Air Jordan 1 style box, but this one definitely has a twist to it. It has a matte white finish all over, with the red Nike and the swoosh, and then the branding throughout the rest of the box. And on the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro high OG white university red black size 13 just for me and retail on these was 170 bucks now cracking open the lid of the box you have your classic regular white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay first impression of this shoe when it comes to the leather quality honestly on the back end these are not that bad now before we get too deep into breaking down all the styles cuts and materials you know what we got to do we got to talk about the history first back in 1984 Michael Jordan came into the league and in 85 he got his own model called the Air Jordan 1, which we know has been a very famous model over the past 30 plus years. During that time, they had signature iconic colorways that came out that we still love to this day, but like always, there's colorways that don't make the cut and then they end up never releasing. So looking at the pictures right here, you can see there's a white and blue colorway that has the same exact color blocking like this, and this was a prototype sample colorway that they decided not to release back in 1985. So 30 plus years go by, and next thing you know, we see the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 release now me personally i would say out of the four travis scott jordan ones this is probably my least favorite of those but at the same time it is still a solid shoe i'm interested to see what you guys think in a second when we talk about the materials and the breakdowns but anyways if you look at the inside of the foot right here to the og color blocking that we saw back in 1985 so this kind of came out and they reminisced this with the fragments and they did a couple mixtures with different things like that again i've done a full in-depth review on this shoe but for you to get a gist of it to say the least these are definitely very similar to that og color blocking that we had never seen before besides in some magazines and some random leaked photos over the years now following that release now in 2022 we have this colorway coming out in a red version and there was a lot of skepticism about this shoe and a lot of people being very critical over it based off of what people thought on the fragment compared to it being a collaboration and super hyped up and then next thing you know this one comes out and it's essentially the same shoe but in red which is bulls color so you would think more people would like it but for some reason not that many people like this shoe and to be honest with you when i first saw leaked images of this shoe i was interested in adding it to my collection because it was a different twist but at the same time it was not like high priority on my list as you can see right now i'm getting these late but i was waiting and i got them for retail so i'm not mad at that now before we get into breaking down all the details of this shoe we gotta shout out today's sponsor aura do you know what the fastest growing crime in america is right now for years this crimes rate has been surging and affecting millions of americans and if you're still wondering what i'm talking about it's identity theft there's a victim every 14 seconds that's more than 5,000 people a day aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and an antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, and social security numbers and sends alerts to you fast via phone and email immediately when something happens. So basically, when it comes to fraud, every second matters. Connect your credit and bank accounts and get notified of any changes up to four times faster than Aura's competitors. Their VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browser history and your personal information safe and in encrypted and they have antivirus software that will block malware and viruses before they infect your devices as you can see right here aura is always protecting me and when you get signed up i would love to see how many times they protect you as well so to protect yourself from america's fastest growing crime try the 14 day free trial the link is for you down below i have it pinned in the comment section as well that way you can at least try it and see if it's something for you i personally have it and i love using it all the time so thank you aura for sponsoring this video now let's get back to the video now before we dive deeper into opinions and prices and projections and comparisons with the other models that I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and break down this shoe real quick. Starting with the bottom of the foot, you have your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole, all red vibes right here, going up to the midsole, all white with a white stitch, and then on the upper, oh, the upper. Like I said, there's a couple different mixtures of materials. The back end of the shoe, the tumbled leather is very soft. It feels really nice. And even on the toe box, it feels really good. 
and then on the swoosh same thing but when it comes to the white leather it's very smooth and it feels kind of stiff i'm not exactly sure how people are going to feel about it some people are going to say it feels kind of cheap typically that's what we get when we see a smoother leather on the air jordan one which i completely understand now going to the tongue you got your all white hit with the black nike tab with the red nike air black sock liner and then a white insole with a red nike air on there these come standard with a pair of black laces and an additional pair of red laces and white laces so that's another cool perk to have the different options to be able to switch it up or add these laces to other jordan one models that you may not have extra color lace options for so after seeing those in-depth shots right there let me know what you guys think about the materials of the shoe and how you feel about the color blocking of the shoe because now we're going to talk about color blocking with the other ones and why it's so interesting and what people are doing with this pair right here to turn them into something else so as we all know the black toe air jordan one is an og colorway that came out back in 1985 and we have seen retro a couple times over the years when you look at the back end of these two sneakers they are definitely very similar obviously the swoosh is a different color but the back end right here around the collar and the heel is pretty much identical now going to the front end of the sneaker you can see you have the black around the lace area and then around the whole toe cap with the white vamp right here so i'm sure some people are asking why are you showing this comparison of these two shoes because this sneaker right here became very very expensive and then the bread toe air jordan one came out and it was going for pretty low originally next thing you know the price shot up because everybody couldn't get these and now this became the hot topic and became a lot of people's grill so now as you can see right here there are definitely some similarities on the back end but different on the front but if you look at the top of the toe box right here what do you have red leather so what are people doing a lot of people are customizing this version right here and painting the area around the toe the lace holes and the swoosh black and it's causing it to look like the bread toe ones now i'm personally not too big into customizing and everything like that i'm more of a pe and sample type of guy i love to collect the actual thing but i do understand the custom world and i have a lot of respect for it so don't get me wrong i'm not talking down or negative at all to any of that type of stuff because it is a true art and you have to be good to do it nicely when it comes to customizing sneakers and making it look like this version and all those other factors but either way this is something that i'm not too into but i do respect and i understand why people are doing it because like i said you can easily customize this shoe to make it look like this one and if this is a shoe that you really wanted and you couldn't afford you could go out and buy this one for around 200 bucks or get it at retail like i did and then put some paint on the shoe you know paint's like what 10 15 bucks something like that take a little bit of time next thing you know you're like 210 dollars into the shoe and it looks like a 700 dollars shoe now some people may think that's a good idea and some people may not again i'm just kind of presenting the idea to you guys and showing you what people are deciding to do with this model and getting a little bit more creative because we don't typically see that with every single air jordan model typically it's like this is the colorway this is what you got people like it or not but when it comes to something like this with having the white base on it you can get a lot more creative i've seen people turn these into bread ones as well and then obviously you're gonna have to change the color of the mesh on the tongue and different things like that with the customization process but it is cool to see people get creative and have a little bit fun with their sneakers and do something a little bit different to enjoy the shoe a little bit more so with all that being said i want to ask you guys that question is this something that you would be interested in doing or you want to learn how to do or you kind of just want to mess around and know that hey if i mess up the shoe it's okay because it's not reselling for much so i could easily purchase another pair again and all those different things let me know what you think about that whole customization process and creating the sneaker that you can't have or i don't know it's hard to say because you know everybody's going oh what are you talking about everybody's always got their ways to complain about whatever people say but at the end of the day again i'm not hating it i'm not knocking it i think it's pretty cool i like when people get creative and create something that they can't afford or whatever it may be or you know i'm the more of like save up until you can get it and then it feels even better once you get that thing that you couldn't afford because you worked hard to get to that point but i don't know everybody has different perspectives i'm just interested to hear what you guys think as well Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside yo if you made it to the end of this video drop a comment down below and let me know in the comment section what is your price prediction of this sneaker five years from now 
how much do you think this sneaker is gonna be worth? And then we can come back and look at those prices in the comment section and see who was right.